Hey, Nick Peterson here from LiveAndLightly.com and I want to show you our little uh, portable solar setup. So our family lives full time in our, uh, our Airstream here. We travel six months out of the year and our ultimate goal is to make the trailer off-grid. So we have a small wood stove, we have a composting toilet, um, we're gonna get a 12 volt DC fridge to run off solar and we're working on solar right now. So let me show you the little box here. This is phase one of our solar project and we wanna be able to park in the shade. The Airstream conducts heat very well so when it's parked in the sun it is not comfortable in, on the inside. It's hard to keep it cool so yeah, we don't want to mount all of our solar panels on the roof because we want to park in the shade some of the time. So we want to have the flexibility of putting our panels in the sun. So this little box can help us do that. And it can also, we can just take it on the go. We can throw it in the back of the truck and kind of have some power on the go if need be. So let me show you kind of the different components and what's inside. We are using a, uh, a Morning Star. It's the Sun Saver Duo. It came with a 25 amp charge controller which can handle I think roughly 400 450 watts something like that of solar power and then it also comes with this meter that shows you current state of charge you can have uh, two batteries a house battery and then like your vehicle battery and then it shows you the temperature of the batteries um, if it's charging what the uh, current amperage is and then how many amp hours is stored up uh, max and then yeah, back to state of charge. So on the outside, we plugged in these um, USB power socket and just a 12 volt accessory power socket. We can plug our inverter in here. And then on the inside, we just houses the um, two 35 amp hour sealed uh, batteries. And then the charge controller there in the back. And then we have um, our load bus. Uh, we didn't mount that yet, so it kind of fell. Uh, so that's that's pretty much it. Oh, yeah, and we have a fuse in line there. I think it's a 30 amp fuse from the uh, the positive side of the battery. So this was super easy to set up and some of you may not know what 35 amp hours can Well, we have actually 70 amp hours, but 50% 50 percent of that is usable. So what can you power with that? Well, we can power um, roughly 35 amp hours will run our fans for a couple hours. We'll run our water pump for what we need it for a day We can charge our MacBook Pro 13 inch. We can charge both of our phones Several times before we need to recharge. So this will basically power our trailer for a day um, Or just kind of run accessory things like you know powering electrical devices for quite a long time uh, We have 100 watt solar panel that can charge it in um, it puts out about five amps peak so we can charge it almost in a day fully recharge it so it's a great little system and it cost um, this this charge controller the Sunsaver duo was a little bit more you can get it without the remote and a little cheaper one maybe not 25 amp I think maybe 10 which would still work for 150 to 200 watts of solar panel um, but I think we put this together for under 500 bucks and it's a solid little system and eventually we'll get a bigger system to put in our trailer. Real quick, just wanted to show you the inverter. It is a pure side inverter. So it's peak 600 watts, um, constant continuous power of 300 watts. So this will do our, our small electrical devices fine. It will not do our big things like our Vitamix blender. We need a bigger one for that. Um, you'll want to get a pure sine wave inverter for electronical devices like the MacBook Pro um, and maybe some power tools. Uh, we had, we, I found one of these like at a thrift store, just a random, uh, what do they call it, modified sine wave or something like that. Anyway, that can, uh, that can mess up your, your devices, your electronic devices. So anything can run on the pure sine, I understand. Um, not everything can run on the modified. So this makes it more like what you'd plug in, you know, just at a, at your wall. So 
we just pop open a little hatch and we we hook up the terminals to uh, charge our devices um, yeah we're eventually going to use this in our trailer as well so I didn't want to hardwire it in the box but you totally can do that as well and uh, yeah that's how we run AC alternating cu current devices from the uh, solar box majority of these components actually all of the components were was purchased on Amazon uh, most of the things were were prime and we got them shipped quick um, minus the, uh, the box I just I picked up at a thrift store it fit everything fine and then there was a couple of uh, wire things I went to Habitat for Humanity and I bought wire went to Home Depot and got the fuse inline fuse thing and um, yeah really straightforward easy to set up and it works awesome hey thanks for checking out this video and stay tuned for more off-grid Airstream updates thanks